Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert your favorite DVDs to iPod format. Uh, this works really well with episodes. Um, it's kind of sketchy with movies. But anyways, um, I've used my screen capture software on this one, but I decided not to because in the last video everyone asked me uh, to give them a step-by-step -step explanation. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using this camera. This camera isn't the best camera in the world. It's still a camera. But, um... When I zoom in really close, it gets blurry, so I'm going to try and zoom in. And it's going to be really hard with for me to do this stuff one-handed and looking through the screen of the camera. So I'm going to try my best. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is pop in your DVD. Uh, I have Family Guy. It's one of my favorites. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I'm running Windows Vista. It's the same thing with XP, but um, yeah, it's just the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Anyways, let's try and get this back this in, back this into focus. Okay, so first thing you're gonna want to do is pop your DVD into the tray. Uh, okay, so let's do that right now. So I'm gonna pop that out. Okay, so I'm on YouTube right now for some reason. Okay, anyways, so, sorry. No, I don't want to buzz. Oh, this just crap makes me so mad. Okay, so, anyways. Okay, so, what you're going to want to do is open up a little program called DVD Shrink. It looks kind of something like that. And, uh, yeah, so let's open that up. Okay, so there's going to be a couple options at the top. Open disk, open files, and then you already clicked on full disk and reauthor. What you're going to do is open up the disk. This is going to enable you to see all the files in the movie. Or TV show, or whatever. So open the disk. Uh, the time varies on your hard drive speed. My hard drive speed is really fast, so it opened up pretty quick. And what you're going to want to do th next is click on reauthor. Okay. I want to go fast. Okay, that was my retard brother. I want to go fast. <laughs> okay, so anyways. Uh, this kind of menu is going to pop up. And it's going to say uh, menus, main movie, and extras. All you really, all that's really gonna matter is the main movie. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is, if if you know the title of the episode, which uh, sequence it is, uh, click your title and just drag it. I don't know which one this is, but uh, whatever. So let's just drag this in, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be in this little pile called DVD structure, and you can even like watch it while you're uh, while it's in there. Yeah. See? Okay. Anyways, so let's rewind that back. And let's click, hit backup. Not analysis or anything else. Hit backup. Okay. This is gonna, this is what you're gonna wanna see. You're gonna wanna see ISO image file, sorry. And you're gonna wanna save it in a place, browse around, save, save it in a place that you know where you're gonna have it. Uh, usually for Vista, Vista people, it's gonna save in uh, videos, but um, I don't know. I won't count on that. Uh, and depending on the size of your file, if it's a movie, it's going to save in, at, I think it's 4.35 gigs. It's pretty big. So anyways, you're going to want to press OK and let it back up. Yeah, I already have it. Okay. So, anyways, this is the screen that's going to, that, that, what's, it did. that's what it's going to look like. Okay, sorry. Kind of tongue-tied right now. But uh, let's let that sit for a little bit, and uh, you can watch it if you're really bored. But um, yeah, just go on YouTube or MySpace or whatever, and then just wait for this to finish. So we're gonna let that sit. <clears throat> okay, so it's almost finished. Um, just wait a little bit. It's 97 percent of the way there. Okay, just going through the credits.
Okay. So when that's all finished, uh, you're gonna wanna open up a little program called. Give me one second. Let me minimize this crap. Uh, this probably won't happen to you if you don't have DVD decryptor, but whatever. Okay. You don't need it. Okay. So after this is all done, you're gonna wanna open a little program called Jodex Free Video iPod Converter. Whatever. It's gonna give you a little gay tip of the day, whatever. Just press OK. And it's gonna give you a list of options. Add files, help, live update, cool, and about. Add files. Do okay, you wanna add files? Obviously. Okay. So uh in here it's gonna say it's gonna have uh the list of like videos or whatever you saved it or whatever you dragged and stuff last. I highly doubt that you have because uh you haven't done this before. Whatever. So it's gonna say at the bottom all available files. You don't want that. You want that ISO image you just created. Which going what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down to all down. All files, okay? Put that. Now a list of stuff is gonna pop up. I have movies and stuff saved on here. Okay. So that's whatever. So what you're gonna wanna do is find that ISO you just made. Uh the way you can tell it's an ISO is if you can see the time and where you just modified it. Okay, that's what that's what my ISO looks like. I don't know what yours look like. Maybe if you have Nero, that's what it'll look like, the logo. But I have a Toshiba computer, so that's what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna wanna press open. And uh give it a minute. Uh, it's gonna give you an option cancel next. Press obviously press next. Okay. Now when you get it it's gonna be the video quality is gonna be in the middle and the audio quality is gonna be in the middle. Shoot those up to highest, highest highs. Because then it's gonna make everything nice. Now you're gonna want to edit the author for Family Guy Seth MacFarlane. S E T H space M C F A R L A N E. Genre, comedy, copyright, whatever the year is. Or you can just scroll down and press Jodix.com. Whatever. So after you're done with that, press OK. And it's gonna create an MPEG 4 file. Okay. I don't really want to do it because it takes forever and I'm trying to keep this video short. So. After you're done, you're gonna wanna press iTunes. Go to your iTunes. Just give it a minute. My iTunes is weird on this computer. Have you heard of this disease? Uh, or, or, uh, yeah, don't mind the noise in the background. I should told you guys that, that at the beginning. Okay. So this is all, all this stuff's gonna pop up. Okay. So, you're gonna wanna either go to file. Hang on. Let's zoom in. File. Add file to library, and just find the, uh, find the file that you just saved, hang on, let me just go find it, I'll scroll down, scroll down, videos, okay, so whatever, this is what it's going to look like, this is what the MPEG-4 file is going to look like, see it's going to say MPEG-4 movie, and you're just going to want to press open, okay, after that's finished, you're gonna want to go to movies. Uh, I don't think Family Guy's in my movies anymore. But whatever. Go to get info. This is gonna take like two seconds. Okay. There's a, it's at like the bottom for some reason. Whatever. So, it's gonna give you a list of options info, video, sorting, options, artwork, whatever. Go to name and change change it to Family Guy. Go to artist, change it to Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane, um. Don't put anything for that, whatever. Put a video, and then instead of movie, change it to TV show. That's going to make it so uh, when you do your other Family Guy stuff, it's going to be under TV shows, not movies. Uh, type in Family Guy for show, or whatever your show is. Season number. And if you know the episode number, type that in, because that's good, always good, too. And then when you're finished, um, just drag it onto your iPod, or if your iPod can de detect syncing. Um... Just get it and uh give me one second. Let me get, let me go grab my iPod. One second. So I went to my crap and found my iPod and um we're gonna see what stuff's on it. One second. And as you can see, the quality is awesome. And if I had some headphones or I put it in uh the dock, my dock, uh, I'd be fine. Um
just some things. Don't put the audio quality and video quality on lowest, because that really screws up the video, and you don't want it all pixely and stuff. And whatever the audio, um, sorry, video quality is at, at its lowest, or in the middle, you get these lines whenever people move, and that's not really good, because you don't want it to look like that on your uh, iPod video. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, comment me, or email me if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching my stuff. Peace out.